Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm here this week with your weekly oracle card guidance and I just want to say that um, the last uh, year has been quite turbulent for me. I've been uh, in different places and just always in a kind of limbo or unwell and I haven't been able to um, keep up to some of the promises that I've made to you to be able to provide a certain type of video or to be able to uh, try out new videos and using different divination methods. I am settled for a little while now and, and I should be able to upload a few more videos and I hope that uh, just talking about it is not going to jinx it but that I actually am able to do it. And so um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to come through with, with uh, some of the videos that I promised last year. But hopefully as we enter this year and as we go along, they, you know, you will be able to find more content on this channel as we go ahead. So in this week, we are doing your Trust Your Vibes. Uh, we're using the Trust Your Vibes Oracle cards and we have three options here. It's option one option two and option three, go ahead, make your selection and uh, you can go down to the reading. I'm just going to be asking this, uh, the simple question that we always ask for weekly Oracle card guidance. And that is, what is it that we need to know right now? Or what is the message that I need to hear right now that is going to help me as I go along at the time that I've come to this video? All right. So many blessings to you all and let's get down to it. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one year, we are asking, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear right now? And what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? What is the message that you need to hear most at this moment? So the card we have here is number 27 and it says let go. And the first thing that strikes me is that two and seven is a nine, which is the end of um, a pathway. It's the end of passage of life and it's a, the beginning of a new phase. And letting go means that you haven't really begun the new phase as yet and that you can't really begin the new phase. Um, that what you need to do is to be able to let go of that in the past in order to be able to start again. Now, I find this quite poignant that it is at the beginning of a year, but I feel for many of you, it might be an end of a life phase, that it may be time to let go of toxic influences or influences that are not really to your benefit and to be able to let go of it once and for all and not to be too sentimental about the value of those um relationships or the role that people have played in your life but just to be able to have the courage to walk on your own and to be able to take a path um, that is yours and yours only and sometimes that means letting go so I feel here letting go is not just having to do with letting go of relationships or letting go of people or letting go of particular structures or, or habits or rules or routines but rather it has to do also with letting go of things, it may be that it's time to do a spring clean, even though for some of you it isn't spring, for most of the world it isn't spring. And so all the world, it isn't spring. Yeah, but to be able to like clean up and to be able to get rid of those things that you may not have been able to get rid of until now. To be able to recognize relationships that are not working for you and to be able to create space between yourself and, and that relationship and to be able to have the courage, as I said, to be able to walk that path. And I feel like, you know, it's as the store shown here, it's simply about being able to open that door and walk through. And if you don't open that door and walk through, you're never going to know what's on the other side. So it's about time that you took, you chose to take that other path. It's time that you chose to look at what it is that you've been wanting to do, but that you haven't been able to do until now. And so I feel that this is a great card um, to allow new prosperity into your life and to allow new experiences into your life because abundance can come in many forms. You know, it doesn't have to only come in financial terms or in, in material terms. It can also come in terms of uh, having forming new relationships, forming new friendships, having new experiences, going to places that you haven't gone to before. Um, not just in terms of traveling uh, to new places, literally, even though, though that might be quite difficult at this moment, but also 
going to new places in your mind or in your own abilities and just understanding that as you embark upon something new that it is going to be difficult because it's unfamiliar and it is going to be an adventure it it may be a challenge as you go ahead but to look forward to that and to welcome that as opposed to being afraid of it or um, moaning about it. There's a sense here that only good can come from letting go. Only good can come from releasing that which has no longer value to you or that which perhaps has value to you, but no longer serves you. And when I'm talking about serving you, I'm talking about that every relationship in your life should actually have a uh, a sense with you that these people see you, that there is a sense of understanding and correlation that this person sees your essence and sees your being and sees your potential and you know if there if people are not seeing your potential and you're holding them close to your heart then you are somehow limited by their lens by what they are seeing and so you know there is a, a tradition um in, in the Hawaiian tradition, it's it's. I'm not sure if you if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I think it's ho po no po no. I think it's something like that. Forgive me for the Hawaiians that I'm insulting right now by not pronouncing this correctly. But this is an ancient principle and and wisdom which talks about how you can see the change in another by actually believing in it. So if there is someone in your life that is um, that is not walking the path that you think is the most wholesome path that you can see their change and that and if you believe that they can make that change and you can actually um pray for them and their change that their that change can come about in them and that principle works upon the fact that people around you can limit you by their expectations of you because if someone's always expecting you to do a certain thing or to behave in a certain way what's going to happen is that you you're mag- magnetically or magnetically rather are drawn to behaving in that particular way so you will only live up to that expectation and even if you try to move beyond that and push beyond that it will be difficult for you to do so and so due to the resistance that you experience it will be harder for you to push through and sometimes one gives up as a result so where is it that um, there are people around you that have lower expectations of you or don't expect you to do the things you do or don't really know you but claim to know you and as a result are holding you back in your life and it's time to let go of these relationships it's time to leave them behind now as I said this applies not just to relationships but also to routines that are not assisting you are not in helping you uh, routines that are perhaps enabling a, a behavior in your life that you could you also need to release and so it's time to look at all of those things that do not serve you and release it I want to say here that many of you know the relationships that are not working for you, but you haven't released it and you have good excuses for why you haven't. Perhaps they're family, perhaps they depend on you, perhaps you depend on them. And I want to say that all of these things are just excuses because ultimately, uh, regardless of what your reason is for not letting go, the impact the negative impact is still going to be the same. So you've got to ask yourself if you're willing to actually um, to, yeah, you've got to ask yourself if you're willing to be able to take on that, if you're willing to be able to, um, yeah, have that discounted value in your life as a result of uh, not letting go, as a result of hanging on to people or as a result of continuing relationships which are not, um Uh, which are not helpful for you okay so for those of you who sometimes see that here um that here there is some flashing light i just apologize for that it's a it's a disc that is reflecting upon that and i'm not able to move it at this moment so that is your message for this week i just want to reiterate uh perhaps i haven't explained it clearly enough but um you know the last message that i'm that i that that I said well the last thing that I said was that if you if you allow people in your life that are hurting you are not or expecting little from you and therefore you're not able to move forth and break that barrier and and go ahead then 
but you say, well, I have to stay with them because they need me or I need them, then what's going to happen is that you are going to have to accept that that is going to be uh, the value that you have in your life. And what I mean by that is that you then need to accept that you won't be able to reach those goals or that th this this situation that you've chosen for yourself is in the way of you reaching your goals. So I think, you know, give it some time and think about that and think about whether you're willing to make that sacrifice and uh, is it okay? Because ultimately it isn't a sacrifice. You know, you may think that you're doing something noble by actually being in that situation, but in fact, it's uh, you are sacrificing your well-being in that situation and it isn't necessarily a good thing for you. So I think now is, is a... Um, a, a fortuitous time to let go and this message is about doing that so look at what you are able to let go of and what you're able to release and do so uh, willingly and with grace and um, you know do so with love as well because you know you don't want to do this in pain or in hardship because that will have its own repercussions all right so s sending you lots of love i hope that message has resonated i hope it helps you um and do let me know if it does i mean it's always lovely to read your messages down there please stay safe stay healthy and um you know keep everyone around you safe as well if you can and sending much love to all of you many blessings so for those of you who've chosen the option number two here we are asking, uh, what is your weekly oracle guidance and what is the message that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to hear right now? I feel like it's this card here. And the card we have is instant feedback and it's number nine. So for me, this card is a very simple card with a very simple meaning. It's basically talking about actually being able to use your gut uh, to be able to tell you what is okay and what is not okay. And you will get that instant feedback and just to be able to be open to it is, is the biggest hurdle, actually. Because what this card is telling me is that you are constantly receiving information about what it is that you need right now you're constantly knowing what it is that you need right now your body will be giving you indicators your mind your emotions your levels of hunger or thirst will be giving you uh, indications of what it is that you need right now and all you need to do is hear it all you need to do is allow that information to be downloaded and not to be alarmed by it but actually to ask the questions that are necessary and to be able to inform yourself as a result not to be afraid of what you're hearing. So for some of you, these will be physical ailments. For some of you, these are, are physical ailments. Um, you know, your body is telling you something that you need to hear, that you need to listen to. And it's a reliance uh, that's too much on the on the brain. There's too much on, on rational thought here, uh, here that needs to be put aside so that you can actually hear what your body is saying to you. And your body is going to give you instant feedback with regard to uh, conversations that you have with people with regard to decisions that you need to be making in your life or with regard to circumstances that you are exposed to and so what you need to do is simply hear that and simply acknowledge it now what the warning that's given here is that not to not to hear it and to become afraid of it or become alarmed by it and then panic because that is a different reaction and that is not assisting you. The reason that you're getting this advice is so that you can take some action and you can move ahead with it because it's important for you right now to hear what is the instant feedback that you are receiving. So I almost want to say uh, if those of you who are listening to this and you, you feel up to it, then go ahead and do this. Uh, as you go along in the week ahead, like give yourself six days or five, seven days, um, move ahead and at every moment, ask yourself, what is my gut telling me right now? What is my solar plexus saying to me right now? Is my light brightening or is it dimming right now? What am I feeling? Am I feeling happier or am I feeling sad? Am I feeling drained? Am I feeling like I need to withdraw? What is it that you're feeling at this moment? And what is and what is that related to? You know, you may walk into a cafe and immediately you feel like you need to shrink back. And what is it telling you? It's telling you that that's the space that you don't want to be in you know perhaps there's COVID there or perhaps there's something else going on there right now um and you know that's just an example and you might be you might be in a conversation with someone and you might feel really 
tired after that conversation. So that's your instant feedback. Um, there's also the sense that, you know, you could be elated after having a conversation with someone or after reading a letter from somewhere or after finding some kind of information online. And so these are all examples I'm giving you. But obviously, look at in your own life, where is it that you're feeling yourself and feeling your reaction to something because what's happened is that over the decades we've become so automated in our reactions because we are made to go and do certain things we're made to go to school at a certain time and we're made to go to work at a certain time and we're made to uh, to um to behave in this automated fashion and so we have lost connection to our 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 being our essence that feeds us information about how we should be reacting rather than what you know what we expected to do so i think that here is an opportunity in this week to be able to feel what it is that is coming your way and to be able to hear what it is that's coming your way because there is some really important information in there and i think it's especially in terms of your health but it's also in terms of what it is that you can in fact um you can in fact bring to the end in your life or you can in fact change in your life or you can um, um, alter, you can alter a set of circumstances if you listen carefully to how you feel about it and how your body is responding to it. So, you know, if you have a, a direct reaction to something, like for instance, let's just say that you have a diarrhea after you've been to a certain place or after you've interacted with someone. Uh, well, that's a very extreme example, right? But that would be a very good example of what you need to set yourself back from because perhaps there's been stress in that situation and it's called, caused quite a violent reaction. So it's it's things, well, that's a very obvious example, but that it's examples like that. You know, you might feel really thirsty after listening to someone speak for a very long time and it's almost like they've sucked the oxygen out of you and that you need to, you know, ref recharge refill up and so it's 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 those kind of things just look at it and see where it is that you need to listen to that instant feedback that you're getting and this week is all about that so try to maximize on that and try to see where it is and how it is that you're going to be able to um to gather that information and if you can make a journal of it you know just write down um even if it's one word, you know, and, and that, you know, what you were feeling at a certain time or what your instant feedback was and then review it later, perhaps at the end of the day or at the end of the week or whenever. And this is an excellent way in which to be able to um, gather information about yourself and to be able to get to know what your body is trying to tell you. All right. So um, just to note here is the number nine. Um, the card is the number nine. It's it's talking about the end of something. It's talking about the end of a phase. So uh, just um, keep that in mind as well. Some of this instant feedback that you might be receiving might be beckoning you to an end of a phase in your life. All right. So I hope that that has been a helpful message for you. I hope that as you go along that you can actually uh, gain some value from this message. I hope that you're all keeping safe and well. I'm wishing you all much love and many blessings. For those of you who've chosen the option number three here, we are asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance and what is the message that you've come here to hear at this moment? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay, this card seems to have come off. So here I feel like, well, the message is basically talking about taking time off to walk off your stress, to be able to release something, even if it's not stress, even if it's just feeling slightly overwhelmed or feeling like you need to escape for a while, it's time to be able to do that. And if you can do so, do so, um, you know, with bare feet or be able to, uh, press your the bottom of your feet against the grass or the ground or in water that's by you know in a nearby stream or something like this it's talking not just about walking it off or giving it off uh, but it's talking about being able to cope with frustrations that may arise in the year ahead it's talking about being able to uh, work with frustrations that may arise in the week ahead 
Okay, it's talking about being able to find new strategies of coping and new ways of working with things so that you are releasing as you are absorbing, you're releasing, you're, you're regularly releasing. The stone here, Angelite, is a very sensitive energy. It's an energy of um, being able to absorb a lot. It's a very good listener. And it's a card, I mean, it's a stone of um, taking things to heart. And, you know, sometimes if somebody listens a lot to another person, or if your job is to be a listener, if your job is to be a counselor or a healer of some sort, um, or some something in that uh, if you are working in the medical profession as a, as a doctor or a clinician uh, in in some kind of way, there is the sense that you need to release the energies that are coming towards you. You need to be able to allow the earth to grow inside of you, to be able to earth yourself so that you are constantly releasing the stress that you're absorbing around you. So I feel like that is the most important message here. But I feel also that you've been guided to do so and you'll be guided when you need to do this. And you need to actually just, you know, when you, when you can, just take a break from your space. If you're working in a hospital, just be able to try as often as you can to get out and get some fresh air um, and, you know, return to your work. Because if you are able to do that, you'll be bringing a different energy into yourself. You need to be able to release quite often. But as I said, this card also talks about developing new strategies of coping so that you aren't going to be bruised, so that you aren't going to be battered along the way, so that it is going to be easier. And for those of you who do work in the, in healthcare, um, it's about how you're going to be doing this as you go along. So I feel that this card is an important card for you as this year begins and as we go along in this year. And there may be a need to revise the way in which you cope um, with, with whatever it is. This message is also applicable to those of you who do not work in healthcare. Um, generally, this card is about how it is that one copes and how it is that one releases um, energy that might have been built up in yourself or just energy that is not yours that you might have absorbed along the way. So ask yourself, where is it that you are absorbing energy that does not belong to you? And where is it that you are, in fact, taking in something that is not yours and maybe you are it's keeping it's staying with you for too long and you need to be able to let go of it and find ways in which you can release you know the some ways in which you can release um this kind of energy is simply to wash your hands with intention so as you're washing your hands to be able to say perhaps you can wash your hands from the elbows down to be able to say i wash off what's come into my hands today or you can wash your feet and only and you uh, as you drain the water out you can say that you know whatever it is that you've stepped on today or whatever it is that is come your way today you are washing it out of you so you can do some symbolic gestures um in this way and um it does have resonance it does have actual power to be able to release more than one realizes even though it might seem very simple and logically one might not be able to make sense of it I feel here one needs to, if you're having some kind of health issues or you're trying to actually strengthen yourself in some way, it's time to be able to uh, go outside and walk if you can, uh, because walking it is going to help help it help you it's going to help you to regain the balance that you need in your life and to be able to uh, perhaps shed kilos or shed water even that you may be retaining and to be able to to get back into that healthful uh, state again I feel here that being out in nature is really what's going to help you right now it feels to me that you're a very sensitive soul at this moment at least in your life or you're feeling quite a degree of sensitivity and it's important to ground yourself as you go along so that you can make decisions that are going to be helpful for you um i i feel that even as i'm saying this there are those of you who look at this and even though the message has literally walked off you won't go for a walk you won't go you won't go outside you won't do this and this is literally the message. It's literally saying get outside and walk it off. And it's not saying walk it off in your apartment or in your house, um, but go outside and walk it off. And for those of you who are in extreme lockdowns, um, well, try and find a way to be able to be in nature as you're walking it off. 
All right. So that is the message uh, for this week here. I hope that has been helpful for you as you've been, you know, you've been going along. I hope that it can, it brings you value. Uh, that this message brings you value. I, I wish you all a fabulous week ahead as you go along. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I wish you good health. And I also wish you many, many blessings as you go along. Stay well and lots of love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.